Holding on to my breath No sound escapes Walking on a straight line Through the madness Hello beauties! Welcome to my channel. If you're watching my video for the first time, you are welcome. And my old subscribers, you are welcome as well. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like this video, comment, share it, and I will see you all in my next one. So today I'm going to show you all how I achieved this gorgeous wig. So um, the first bundle i have is a 28 inches i have 26 i have 24 and i have 22 closure so here i'm going to use this dumb cap and this one i got it from my local beauty store you can get it from a beauty store as well or you can order it online it has three combs and it looks like a net I like it so here I'm actually putting the wig cap so I'm going to use a pin to secure it first and after that I'm going to place a lace closure so I changed the mannequin because the first one did not give me the fit I actually wanted so here I'm just securing it by using a pin to pin the lace closure down so as i'm saying just now i'm going to secure the thread on the wig cap just before i start sewing on the lace closure so i don't leave the knots on the lace closure or make it not being very neat so i'm just going to hold it so i don't pull it to the back or pull it too much to the front so as you can see what i'm doing just now i'm just taking it gently so this method is very good but sometimes if you don't do this if you don't use this method after sewing you see that your closure has moved uh, you know moved back so I'm not going to use one uh, needle to go around I'm going to cut it here and use a different needle to do the other side you can actually use the same thread all around but sometimes you might find out that your closure has moved all the way to the front so in order to prevent that you make sure you use another thread to go you know to just to follow the same step you did the other side so as you can see that's what i'm doing now and remember to use a pin to hold down the um your closure first so as i'm just sewing it now can see they are not moving they are not going anywhere so I'm just going in with uh, my 28 inches of my bundle so I'm going to use this 28 inches at the back the longest one so I'm going to start sewing as you can see now I'm just uh, starting to sew just when you're sewing just take your time take your time if you're a beginner you need to you need to take your time to do it you don't need to rush you just take your time Just gently do it. So I flipped the hair at this stage. I don't like to cut. In fact, I don't like to cut it. The hair when I'm sewing. 
if I need to cut it then I'll cut it but at this stage I don't like cutting the 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 hair so to prevent shedding as well so I'm just uh, sewing so I will continue to sew then if I get to the other side if I get to where I think I need to flip it I'll just flip it and use the pin remember the pin I was using uh, when I was sewing the closure you just use the pin and pin it pin the, the other end down so you can actually follow the line so I uh, I'm just saying whenever I cut the thread I need to secure it make sure it's very very secured so, so I'm using another pin another needle yeah so I'll just continue to sew so here I flipped it as well use the same pin to pin it down this method is very very you know um friendly for beginners as well you just when you pin it down you know that okay they are just there you just follow the lines i'm going in with the second bundle which is a uh, 26 26 inches just continue to sew you lay it very very flat and sew especially that front part uh, you see how smooth they are in front here so just continue that way make sure they are very very you know they are well laid so this is the the third bundle so I'm going to go in with the third bundle so I use the three bundles then plus the closure then it's you know three and um, closure then is four but you can actually use like four bundles like it's up to you if you want it like super full you can use four depending on the volume you you know you are looking for uh, in this video I used three bundles which are 28 26 24 then I use my closure 22 inches If you can tie it like you know as many times as you want just to make sure they you know they don't uh, unravel you know so I'm just going to continue sewing So I'm almost there. So at this stage, you just take your time. Always take your time, especially when you get to the front like this. You know, always take your time. Do it gently, gently, especially for beginners. Do it gently, so you don't mess this part up. You know, so. As you can see, I flipped it again. I continue to at this stage. I've, you know, I've not cut anything at all. All the three bundles have not cut, you know, any. So I will just continue to sew.
so I will, I'm just uh, gently attaching my needle um, yeah just gently sewing this part because this is the most important part you need to make sure that they are well 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 laid down you know so I'm just taking my time to sew this so as so I'm sewing I'm just making sure I uh, I, you know, making sure I tighten it well, and if you can secure it, you can secure the thread while sewing. That's really nice. So I'm just making sure I'm doing both as well. So here I'm just securing the thread. I make sure I tie it properly so um, this is the last the very last part so I'm just going to cut this part off just going to cut it so this is the only part I cut I I can actually do it that way but I just want it to lay very very flat so I'm just making sure I tighten the part where I cut of the extension so it will not shade the you know level from there so I'm just making sure that they are well you know secured so as you can see I'm just I'm still going in making sure I you know I secure it properly so so I'm going to attach the last the very last part yeah so So I can see, you can see. So I'm still um, sewing it. This is, <laughs> this is the very last part. So I finished. So then I'm just going to use the the closure to make to cover everything so that's me done for now yeah done sewing so I'm going to to trim the baby hair just to my satisfaction just trim off um, a bit uh, excess uh, just turn this side just the way you really want so here I'm just going to cut the lace closure This part you have to do it gently. You need to be very, very, very careful so you don't go in that much. You don't uh, get to the the very parts where um, the the baby hair started. So you need to be be very, very careful. You need to be very, very careful when you're cutting your your lace closure. So. I'm still going to take out a little bit SS here. Yeah. So here I'm going to cut off 
I'm just going to cut off the parts, this part. So my lace closure will look very very nice when you put it on. Yeah, I can actually see your scalp or when you put it on. So here I'm just cutting the elastic band as I measure with a tape first before I actually cut it and make sure I got the one that I actually need and make sure you don't uh, make it too tight before cutting it so you don't feel uncomfortable when wearing your wig so here I'm just cutting the excess from the dumb cap the one I didn't um, the ones I didn't really get when I was cut cutting it the first time so here I'm just placing the the elastic band so now I've started sewing so you make sure you don't sew direct directly to the um, less closure so you don't um, destroy your less closure so as you can see I'm actually sewing it uh, towards the edge you know the thicker part and I'm actually sewing it uh, yeah on that part not on the not directly on the the less closure so so as I'm sewing in this part I'll actually yeah do the same the other side that's me finished and the wig looks amazing yeah it looks really really nice so here I'm just applying a, a little bit of a agam oil on the hair for shine yeah so my beauties if you enjoyed this video please give me a huge thumbs up and like this video share it to your friends and families until i see you next time stay blessed stay beautiful bye